Let's have a look at how we can uh, update or actually reinstall R packages. Because some of you have uh, experienced some problems with R packages. And uh, this is sort of the drastic way of starting at fresh. First of all, I'm now running R4.0.4 that we have been running from the start of the semester. And uh, at least uh, don't use the newer versions of R yet on, on Orion, because there are some problems, I think, with uh, at least the newest one. Uh, so stick to this version, at least for now. It might be that we migrate to a new version, but not right now. So let's see how we can actually reinstall all R packages. First of all, uh, you should all have a file called .r profile in your home folder, the one I have here. I click it open here now, so you can see this. I I showed you in the, in the very first module, I think, how to create this file, because uh, and this is really a good idea because this tells R where to install all R packages. So here you can see I tell R to go to my home folder into the subfolder called R. You can see it down here, and in there again there should be another subfolder called in this case, library, but you may call it whatever you like. So let me click open the R yeah, here. Here we can see it, right? So we tell R to install R packages in this folder only, right? And you can call this folder whatever you like, but you have to specify that name up here, right? In this statement here, and then save this file. And this file must be saved in your home folder, right? Nowhere else. Otherwise, R will not find it. Find, R will always look for this file in your home folder, not inside this R, in your home. OK, so all my R packages are now installed in this one, in this folder here. And if I click it open, you can see there are lots of sub uh, folders here, one for each R package. Uh, let me go to the terminal window and also I am now in my home folder. I can see my R folder there. So I step down into it, capital R like this. And there is my library folder. And now I just want to list the content of the library folder here without actually stepping into it like this. So we see the same list of, of our packages here. <clears throat> also, if you go to the packages, tab in your, in our studio you will see uh, the same packages listed under user library right this is the r package these are the r packages that you have installed yourself locally they should be listed here and then you can see further down there is a system library and these are the packages that are always installed on orion so this we, we cannot and will not do anything to, but uh, what we can do something with are these, right? And they are exactly the same packages as we see in this library or yeah, this folder here now, or the, we see them again here. It's the same thing. So if you experience some serious problems with our packages, they don't load or so, something like that, what can we do? Well, there are several things we can do, but here is the most drastic of all. We simply just delete everything and reinstall everything from scratch. And that's, of course, something you don't do unless you really have to, I would say, because it takes some time, right? And also, uh, but in our case, it's, it's, it's doable because we haven't used R very long. So we don't have super many packages, right? It's not that many packages here. So it will not take a super long time to reinstall everything here. Uh, so that's why I suggest that this is a solution you should consider if, if you have problems over and over again with your R packages. What I do, I simply delete the whole library, the whole folder with my R packages in. I mark it here and just delete it like this. Or you can go over here to the terminal window and then you type RM for remove, right? 
minus RF for recursive and force, and then the name of the folder. Then it will also be deleted here. But of course, now it's already been deleted. So if I look here, you will see there is no nothing more to delete. And now I just create it again, and using exactly the same name, of course. That's really important now because of this R profile file, right? It tells R to install packages in this folder under home R library. So you can see here home R library. But this is empty now, right? So now <clears throat> we should restart R. And this is really important that you do now. You go here to file and quit session so that you restart R because now R will sort of restart. And if you now go to the packages here, you will see there are no user packages anymore. Now it's a systems library only, right? And if you go down here again, it's empty, of course. So now we can start reinstalling the packages. And this should now be straightforward, just as you did it the first time. Uh, let me let me see if I can install the tidyverse package. Uh, that takes some time, but let's try. No, tidyverse, right? Tidyverse. What's this? Let me type it again. So I'm short. Tidy verse, yeah, there it is. Click on it and install. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> and if, if all the connections are as they should, now we should start downloading and installing. This, of course, will take some time. Okay, so I just restarted it and uh, I think it worked better this time. So now we can see we have installed a lot of Tidyverse packages here. Uh, <clears throat> I would just mention uh, this warning here you have probably seen. Uh, let's try to load the library, uh, the tidyverse packages. Library tidyverse. If it has been installed correctly, this should work. <clears throat> yeah, and but we will see this warning. So I, I guess you may have seen this as well. This always sort of pops up warning message. And what is this actually? Uh, it's uh, it's the Tidyverse uh, trying to read the time zone, actually, of the computer. Uh, you can see it tries to run this command here. If I copy this and take it out here to, to my um, terminal window, and I just paste it in here, this is actually Unix command for reading the time so on and so on. And uh, for some reason, this doesn't work when you run it in RStudio. You can, uh, I can show it here if you have the terminal window and you run exactly the same uh, code here, or the same, um, same command here, it doesn't work. And this is one of the examples that uh, RStudio doesn't really, the terminal window is not really a proper terminal window. And and this is why we get this error message here. But uh, it's not really an error. That's the point. It's a warning. So you can just ignore this. We don't need that time zone information anyway. So in our case, we just ignore this warning. And now you can, uh, of course, install all the other packages. Or Actually, there aren't that many. The tidyverse packages we use all the time. We also use this microsec package. Uh, so let me just take this one as well. And the reason I will do this now is I want to show you something here in the terminal window. So let's, uh, I am now in this R folder, right? Where I have this library folder of mine, where I, inside which I want to install my packages. So let's list the content of this. No, nope. library. Yeah, here are the packages we now already installed, uh, the tidyverse packages. Uh, now I, I start installing the microsec package and it doesn't take very long time. So that's why I have to be a little bit quick. Click install and it starts to install. And then let me, while this is installing, let me look at the content here again. And the point is, I want to show you this one. 
during installation of an R package, there will always be a temporary folder named 00lock and then dash the name of the package. So this folder uh, is, is, is existing while installation is going on. And once the installation is done, it should be removed again. Let's see now, it will soon be done, I think. This uh, microsec package doesn't take, there it's done, right? So let's list the content again now and see that now this is gone, right? And the microsec folder itself appeared down here, right? <clears throat> Uh, the reason I mention this is that sometimes the installation fails. The installation of an R package fails, and then this temporary folder may not be deleted. And this could cause some problems for you. If you have some of these folders in your library and you, and you don't do some installation right now, then these are lock folders that we call them that you should actually delete because they uh, as long as they are in your library folder they can give you some problems uh, with the updating of that package so i recommend you to have a look inside this here library folder do you see any one of these zero zero lock blah 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 folders then delete them and and restart our uh, the R session afterwards. So once you have done something to your library, it's always a good idea to do a, a restarting of the R session here on our uh, on Orion. Do that quite frequently. File, quit session, so that you restart everything, and everything is. Uh, sort of all the memory and everything is wiped out so you can start at fresh this is a good idea to do quite often actually